What's up guys? Joel Brinker back here again from Back to Basics Fitness and tonight this video is for all the grip nerds out there. I'm going to teach you how to do proper single arm cinder block rows. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video so I can give you all the fine details of this exercise, the programming, the sets, the reps, the rest periods of frequency, and all the other programming tips that you need to know in order to be successful. All right, let's do this. So you need somewhere to kneel down, that's sturdy, and then of course we need our cinder block. So really quick, the anatomy of the cinder block as it pertains to strength training, we have a thick side handle right here. This is going to be easier to grip. So this is, this is where you're going to want to start. We flip it around and we have the thin side. This is more difficult to grip. So know that for your uh, progression purposes. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pick our starting arm. The muscles that we're going to be training with this exercise, we're going to be working our lats. We're going to be working the muscles of our upper back. So our rear delts, our traps, our mid traps. We're gonna be working our biceps. We're gonna be working our forearm flexors, forearm extensors. We're gonna be working on the thumb pad. The fingers are gonna get stronger. So this is just all around a good variation, especially if you've been doing them with dumbbells and stuff for a while. This is just a nice change of pace. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and take our grip, just right in the center. Now look at my back, it's all rounded here. All we wanna do is we just wanna get a nice flat back position. I'm gonna grip it so my palm is facing away from me. And now from here, I'm just going to go ahead and think about driving and leading with my elbow. And I'm really going to hold it at the top. You're looking for a contraction in your lats. And then from here, you let it go back down. So you're going to exhale through the mouth on the positive. Then you're going to inhale through the nose on the negative. Things to look out for, pulling too much with your bicep and your forearm and not using your back. So the rows I'm doing right now, are a bad example. This is how you do not want to look. Notice, I'm just pulling with my bicep. I'm not actually driving with my elbow. So when you're doing this, do it without weight at first. I see people struggle with this all the time. If you look like that, that's wrong. What you want to do is pull more towards your hip and you want to look like this. So that way the shoulder is far away from the chest. So if I were to pause at the top, I should look pretty close to a 90 degree angle. I'm not too far in, I'm not too far out. And the muscle that you should really be feeling is this lat right up here. So we're just gonna pinch and then we're gonna row, pretty simple. But once things become more difficult, like I said, so once you can get say three sets of 15 from the fat side, then you're gonna spin it to the thin side and you're gonna notice that three sets of 15 is entirely more difficult. It takes a lot more pinching from the thumb. So stick with me, we're almost done. Aside from increasing reps, the next way to progress this exercise is you can add weight. So we'll simply take two plates of equal weight and we're just gonna put them on the ends here. I'm gonna space them out just far enough to where I can get my fingers on the inside. And now from here, by the way, this cinder block weighs 28 pounds. They weigh anyway from, sorry, they weigh anywhere from 28 to 32 pounds, depending. So now you would just load up on both sides and boom. Now you have a way to keep, to keep up progressing for the rest of your life. So say once you can hit three sets of 15 with two fives on each side, then you can spin it to the thin side, knock it out there, and you can see how the progressions just keep going and going and going. So as far as sets and reps and rest periods and all that, for the frequency, you're gonna wanna do these two to three days a week. Start with two, just so that way you don't irritate any of the tendons and the ligaments and all that stuff. Start with two days a week. After about a month, you can move on to three. Um, as far as your reps, you're gonna wanna keep them varied. Sometimes work in that six to 10 rep range, sometimes that 10 to 20, and other times just challenge yourself and work in that 20 all the way up to 50 rep range. Keep the rest periods anywhere from uh, two to three minutes when you're working in the six to eight rep range. Three is a little high, maybe just like two, two and a half. When you're working in that eight to 20 rep range, keep it 60 to 90 seconds. When you're working 20 and above, keep it little like 30 to 45 seconds. And some little things and just some other stuff that you can do 
with that cinder block, if you're really trying to beef up the grip, is after your last set, so you can do a drop set. So you want to save this little technique for every now and then. Say you're repping and it just starts to get way too heavy, you can run a strip set to strip off all the weight, grab it and go. And then if you can't row anymore, then just keep holding it for as long as you can. Make sure you have something soft underneath it and just fight it, fight it, fight it until your fingers start slipping and it gets pried away from you. So this is an exercise that you want to do over grass or somewhere soft because you really want to take it to the point where you cannot grip the cinder blocks anymore. If you can still hold on to them at the end of a finisher set like that, you did not push yourself either hard enough mentally or physically. So there's just a little tip for you. All right, guys, there you have it. There's just a cool little variation you can do. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll help you out. Please follow, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay strong. Peace.